Another update from that prisoner that escaped in Pennsylvania, that search for Danilo Calicante. Uh, still intensifying today, the convicted killer, he escaped uh, last Thursday. We have an update on the manhunt now, uh, eight days in. Joining us to provide the very latest on the search, we are joined by Fox 29 reporter Chris O'Connell. Chris, tell us where that search stands tonight. Well, Corral, first of all, the, it is day number eight of this search and a major development tonight in the search for Danilo Cavalcante when search crews and Pennsylvania State Police have now expanded their search zone. And it is a considerable search uh, change to the west uh, that is now making up entirely different neighborhoods and entirely different townships. Uh, the focus tonight is on the famous Longwood Gardens area. It's a famous uh, uh, gardens, huge uh, place where people come and gather and, and, and look at plants and flowers. A uh, very popular place. A trail camera picked up Cavalcante, an image along the Longwood Gardens property. That prompted a huge response tonight. And when we were here, when tactical units arrived, they went into the woods with uh, a mounted patrol horses. They went on with uh, bloodhound dogs, tactical units, and night vision goggles in heavy, heavily wooded areas. And shortly after the, the Longwood Gardens shut down, they told employees and guests to leave. They told tenants to shelter in place. Within minutes, the state police came to us asking us to get out the word that there is a new search area. And this is based on some information they had on that trail camera. They kind of pinpointed him. They think where the, he was. Uh, so this was some sort of confirmed sighting of him later on in the day that made them expand the search zone. So as far as residents are concerned, very anxious, nerve wracking. It is now day eight going on day nine of an escape, escaped convict, 34 year old Danilo Cavalcante escaped murderer. He was convicted of murdering his ex-girlfriend just a week before his escape and he escaped from prison. Also, he's wanted in Brazil, in his native Brazil, for another murder. So this is a dangerous man, has been out now on the lam for now going on nine days. He is still on the loose tonight, and neighborhoods are very nervous tonight. Chris, I do have to ask, because a lot of people uh, keep questioning the police as to why they haven't found him, because the search area, it's not that big. Uh, anything you've heard from officials about why it has been so difficult to track down Calvacante? Well, keep in mind, uh, he's a small man in a very heavily wooded area. Uh, these, aren't, this is, these aren't open fields. There are a lot of creeks. There are a lot of places to hide and uh, he's moving around. So I think that law enforcement thought he would be apprehended by now. Early on in this search, they said they were gonna squeeze him out. They were confident uh, that they believe he was getting desperate. Well, now uh, it looks like that Danilo Cavalcante has the upper hand. Now, nine days later with hundreds and hundreds of law enforcement technology uh, on their side, but. Danilo Cavalcante still remains on the loose tonight. And Chris, I know that you've been out there for the last couple of nights uh, covering this story extensively. Any reason why you're inside of the truck tonight? We know that there have been some storms rolling in through that area. Yeah, yeah thanks for bringing that up. Uh, just about a half hour ago, uh, some lightning came into the area. So uh, actually, I don't know if I, I showed you here. This is where we're at right now. This is the one of the, the western edge of the search zone. This is a neighborhood that was basically just shut down a couple hours ago. They were not in the search zone over the past couple days, and now this neighborhood has been transformed into a search zone for an escaped killer right now. So yes, to answer your question, we are in the truck because of lightning in the area. Uh, our first priority is to keep ourselves safe uh, so we could deliver the news to you. Of course, Chris, I mean, you stay safe out there. I know that it's been pretty taxing trying to find this uh, escaped prisoner uh, so we do appreciate you checking in with us here at live now from fox and giving us the updates as you get them into your newsroom thanks bro